Welcome to another video in the SAP S4HANA Credit Management Playlist. In the last video, we saw that when we post any credit transaction in SAP, the system will check multiple steps to determine whether the transaction should pass or fail the credit check. Now, if the transaction fails the credit check, SAP can respond in three different ways. The first way is to issue a warning message and allow the user to save the transaction with a released status so the transaction will be automatically released. There is no need for a credit analyst to check and release it in the future. The second way is to issue a warning message and allow the user to save the transaction but with the status of credit block, which means that transaction will be saved but the process cannot continue until a credit analyst checks the transaction and either approves or rejects the credit release. The third way is to issue an error message and not allowing the user to save the transaction. This is called credit control. In the video today, I will show you how to configure it in SAP S4HANA 2020 and I will run a quick test case to show you exactly how this works. To configure automatic credit control in SAP S4HANA, we use transaction OVA8. This is a configuration transaction you can find in the configuration menu of credit management. Here we have the credit controlling area, the risk category. This is mapped one to one with the risk class that we maintain in the business partner and master data. And we have the document credit group. This is assigned to every document type for the transactions that we use in sales. For example, if we open here the available values, we have 01 is for sales orders, 02 is for delivery, and 03 is for goods issue. And there is another configuration transaction where we assign these groups to the document types one to one. The example I will be using today is for sales orders. So the credit group is 01 and my credit controlling area is AG01 and the risk category I will use is C. So I will select this entry and then click on details. And here we can maintain the different settings for credit control. So for credit controlling area AG01 for the risk category C and the credit group 01 which is assigned to sales orders. How do I want SAP to react when the transaction fails the credit check? So first of all here we say whether the transaction should be subject to credit check or not. I have this checked so SAP will perform the credit check. Then we have the reaction. The reaction we have we have here four options. One is no message so SAP will not issue any messages even when the transaction fails the credit check SAP will issue no message. The user will continue as normal as is there is no credit check activated. The second is issue a warning message and allow the user to continue. The third is issue an error message and terminate the transaction. The user will not be able to proceed. And then we have C and D. C is a warning message like A, but SAP will add more details in the warning message and it will tell the user the value by which the credit limit has been exceeded. Sometimes the customers ask to hide this because this is confidential data that they, they don't want the sales people to see what is the value that they exceeded. But you can activate it here and SAP will show in the message the transaction has exceeded the credit limit by 10,000 USD, for example. Or you can activate the warning message and here SAP will say the transaction has exceeded the credit limit but it will not mention the exact amount. And then we have D, which is an error message with the value by which the credit limit has been exceeded. So you can choose any option you like. Now let's start with, for example, C, like A plus value by which the credit limit has been exceeded. And then we have a status block. If we check this, SAP will save the transaction with the status of credit block, which means a credit analyst has to check it and release it in the future. If we uncheck this box, then SAP will not, block, will not block the transaction. The transaction will be saved with a released status and the user can continue. So for example, if this is a sales order, the user can continue and perform the goods issue and the billing and so on. There will be no credit release required for this transaction. Now for my example, I will activate the status block. So now we have the credit check activated. The message will be a warning message with the value ex that we exceeded. And we have here the status is credit block. Now let me show you the master data of the customer I will use in my demo. So I will go to the business partner master data slash OBB. Start. I will use the customer AGCM03. Then go to the credit management rule. 
and go to credit profile here we have our risk class so the risk class assigned to this customer is c this can either be calculated automatically based on the score or inserted manually but anyway this is the risk class we have in the business partner now now i will create a sales order and let's see how SAP will interact to create a sales order the transaction is va01 order type or sales organization ag00 channel 10 and division 01 okay the customer is agcm03 material is fg01 and let's say order quantity is 10 pieces and save we get this message credit check sap credit management field because of credit segment ag1000 payment behavior key figure as value 106 so this is a warning or an error message you will know after you click on ok if it is a warning message the transaction will proceed and save normally if it is an error message we will get another message saying that we cannot save now i will click on ok and the transaction has been saved correctly so we have standard order has been saved now if i display this order so go to sales document display then go to header status here you see we have overall credit status not approved and overall block status blocked so the transaction has been saved correctly but it is in blocked status because of what we have in our configuration now let's go back to the configuration of credit control and change something here so for example instead of c i will choose b error message save now let's go back to the sales order and start the transaction again slash nva01 i will use the same details customer agcm03 material fg01 quantity 20 now we get this message again the same message payment behavior key figure has value 106 maximum is 60 okay and as you see the transaction is not saved so if i click on save again now i get this message credit check sab credit measured field credit segment ag1000 agcm03 and the customer the that credit check has failed and i'm not allowed to save the transaction so whatever i do now i will not be able to save the transaction is terminated and i cannot continue with the process so this is the difference between the warning message and the error message now let's try another option of an a warning message without a credit block now if i go back to the configuration and i will remove the status block here and this i will keep as a or c again warning message and save now let's create another sales order slash in va01 again with the same details now this time when i save i get the warning message okay the transaction has been saved now if i display the sales document from here and go to status to the header status you see the overall case status is not performed and the overall block status is not blocked the transaction is not blocked we can continue with the goods issue and the billing and so on without a credit release i hope you found this video interesting and useful if you would like to get access to other videos and to the presentations configuration materials and study notes you can check the channel membership program you can also check the rest of the playlist here the next video here or other interesting videos up there thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon